I tell the coaching stuff like, okay, we need a planning, like we need fruits, we need this, we need this, we need this. And we need to know when we drink like energy drinks and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, just today we had it and I felt like I wasn't tired at all. I mean, game four, I was quite bad, but like, let, let's not talk about that one. But yeah, I feel like we were bad, like prepared and at the end it paid off and we adapted quite fast. Hello everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller, joined here by Niski once again after a uh, very close win, 3-2 win against Misfits. What is going through your head right now? Uh, I mean, not things that I'm quite tired actually, I mean, like, things that are against them, I feel like I had to be focused like 100% like every second because whenever ever anyone was fogging from like any side, they were just running it on mid and then I always had to play like safe and then also aggro at the same time. And then I couldn't plan anything because they were always mid. So, I mean, quite a uh, weird series for me, I would say. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess Kobe carried the game. I mean, he had to. So. <laughs> he he did his job. I'm pretty sure that Misfits from now on will perma ban Vayne in every important game they have, given that, you know, Fnatic beat them with a Vayne and now this happened as well. Bit of a bit of a bad history with the champion now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if the Vayne player is good, I feel like it's, like it's really hard to play against. So, I guess. I'm pretty sure she's getting buffed for Worlds as well, so Uzi will, uh, Uzi, I will pretty much um, murder everyone with that champion. Very excited to see that to an extent, unless it's an EU team. Uh, so, Fnatic, overall though, like in the last game specifically, you really um, backdoored Misfits a lot. Um, so what was the communication like? Because at one point, Misfits were trying to fight for 5v4 against you guys, but you won the fight topside, and you were just uh, getting Nexus turret and stuff. I think that at one point, I was bot, I think, and they were like, I think Kais and Alistar were, were in the top bush and then they were just like grouping five top and I was like, whoa, like, you know, I'm already on the bot tower and they're like all grouping top and I was like, okay guys, just like the communication was like, just don't die, just don't die, like 24 seven, you know, and then I guess my team didn't die and then we just got inib and... If you got a kill. We got inib, I think we got a kill and we got tower as well. And then after that point, like I just had to stay bot and game was uh, pretty over. Pretty much. Uh, so you're gonna play against G2 tomorrow. Um, Lots of talk about whether G2 is, like, some people say they're absolutely boom. Some say, no, they they actually have some potential because, you know, it's freaking perks and the rest of the team is super good as well. Uh, any thoughts on the matchup? Um, I mean, first of all, I hope they won't get mid tomorrow. No, I'm joking. I mean, I think, yeah, like, think that I feel like G2 were, like, really good at one point, but then they just went downhill. I don't know if it, if it was because of the meta or just the team in general, you know, but... I feel like they still have like strong individuals, especially in mid and top, I would say. Like I think they're top two or top three in the region. So yeah, I mean, I just think that if we don't get behind early game, I think we're better in macro than them. And I don't think it should be that hard for us to win against them, to be fair. I mean, so far you have a good track record against teams that did well in the regular split for a certain amount of time, given that, you know, Misfits were first for a long time and then uh, G2 were second the entire time, so that's probably a good sign. Uh, that said, though, Schalke might then wait as the final boss, and that sounds really difficult given the way they played in, in semis and finals, don't you think? No, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i really not scared of Schalke. Oh, okay. Like, I really think that the, in the quarters we should have won those games because we drafted really weirdly, I think, in some games. We didn't really play the comps that we used to play and we were really playing like um, like we were scared, you know? And I feel like against Schalke you just have to play really aggro and like the ones there behind, I feel like they're kind of lost. I feel like when Nugdek is ahead, like they, he just smurfs, you know? I mean, he's just really good on side lane, I would say. Yeah, I don't think I'm scared of Schalke or of any team in the gauntlet. I just think that we we just have to play at our top potential. And for example, today, I don't think we're at the top level because uh, Misfit played in a way that we usually don't see. I mean, except Fnatic that, you know, just moves mid 24-7. But I think that since we scrimmed Fnatic, like last week or some shit, I was kind of like, okay, I mean, this is just a worse Fnatic, you know, like, sure, you know, just 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 keep coming mid, you know, like, it's fine. I mean, you, you happily take on all the resources if it means that, you know, Kaba can get really ahead and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, for example, I think, it, was it game two? Like when I played, Dry, or game three, I think? Like I played Rise. Yeah. They had like Orn, they had Alistar, I think. Yeah. I think Jungler, I'm not sure what the Jungler was. I think it was like Kindred. And like, I got ganked, I think like four times in like 10 minutes. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And the thing is that we're not like, I mean, I won't say like it was the fault of my teammates, of course, but... I feel like they they were really tunnel visioning on mid 
on an Urgot that won't carry the game, you know, like, it's not like Urgot is going to 1v9 the game. And I was like, okay, I mean, just keep ganking me. And then Kobe was like 100 assists ahead. And and even if I was 0-4, I think, or some shit like that, you know, I was like two levels behind and I was still doing more than the Urgot, even though yeah. he was like fed, you know, and I mean, I did my job, so it's fine. Thoughts on, on Senkirk specifically, given that he's taken a lot of the flack, and I would assume that after this year, even though Miss Mickey also had his fair share of bad moments and that kind of stuff, but uh, uh, people always kind of like to shit talk Senkirk, which I thought always was a bit too extreme in that kind of stuff. I mean, I won't say that he played like really, really well, but I think he just did his job, you know, like he... I mean, he couldn't do much. Like, I mean, when you give someone Urgot, you know, he's just going to be there and just, you know, just laying. And I mean, I felt like he was like, okay, you know, like he didn't die, he didn't die many times. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't think people should like, how do I say, shit talk uh, Sankoks because I feel like that guy is actually like, good if he's in, um, he's confident, you know. Like the last game, for example, I didn't expect the Yasuo pick because I thought that he wouldn't, he wasn't like confident enough to pick that champion. I thought they were just go, like on a support. But um yeah, like I, I was prepared to play against like Lulu, Mazar, or any any champion like that, but he just surprised me and he played like actually like good champions, you know. And mm -hmm. I mean, not good champions, but you know, like not supportive mids yeah. and like the team tried to play around him and feel like that was like uh, the best shot of Misfits at least. So yeah, I mean, I don't think they should shit all Chaos and Cook that badly. You drank coffee during during the game itself? <laughs> Where you're like, is, is that something that you really need? And how much coffee do you drink in a day? Okay, so okay, so last time we played Chalka, yeah. last game we were all dead, you know? Like, we were all legit, like, I mean, I, I was playing Zoe, I was like, oh, 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 and like, I, I was like, really useless, you know? And then after the game, I was like, hmm, maybe I was tired, you know? And I tell the coaching staff, like, okay, we need a planning, like, we need fruits, we need this, we need this, we need this, and we need to know when we drink, like, energy drinks and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, this today we had it, and I felt like I wasn't tired at all. I mean, game four, I was quite bad, but like, let, let's not talk about that one. But yeah, I feel like we were bad, like prepared and at the end it paid off and we adapted quite fast. Rises get nerfed for worlds. Is that worrisome for you? Like the, the snare is getting from two seconds to 1.5 nah, seconds. Fine. Nah, that's, that's fine. Nah, that's, that's okay, I think. Okay. What's your, what's your pocket pick right now? Uh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. If Perks is listening to this, nah. It's Timo, you know, like Timo is quite good right now, so... Good. We'll, we'll see Timo uh, mid lane <laughs> tomorrow. Very excited about that. At this point, at this point, Caps might as well play Timo mid. Yeah. I mean, he might, you know. He might also play Vayne and feed for the 31st minutes and then win win the game and everyone thinks Vayne is OP. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I mean, apparently LeBlanc would have been the perfect choice in that situation, but Vayne stole it, did it stop, apparently. So, um, okay, one question. In theory, if we two together would go up against Caps in like a 2v1. Who would win, Caps or us two? I mean, us, of course. I mean, I don't even need you to win. I'm joking. I'm joking. Wow. I'm joking, I'm joking. I mean, it's not like he's gonna 2v1. I mean, I just hope you're not bronze or something, but... I'm silver five, so it's close. Nah, nah, I mean, it should be free win, like to be fair. You will just pick Soraka and just heal me. <laughs> and then we're good. No, I'll pick Yasu, mate. I will pick Yasu. <laughs> All right. Anything you want to say to the Splice fans out there? Um, just keep supporting us. We receive a lot of messages. We try, I mean, we're trying our best, I would say. And um, yeah, I mean, there's two more days to go. And just keep supporting us and then we will make you guys proud. And we will go to Worlds, of course. Anything you want to say to Misfits? I mean, better luck next time, I guess. I mean, I mean, it's just, I mean, I really think they really played well, you know, like, but they just, they they needed like a little more, I think, yeah. and then they would. I won't say that they would win, but I mean they were really good, even though, you know, like they lost in third place this match, I think. Yeah, against Vitality. And they lost quite sadly, I think, as well. So I mean they they picked everything up, and I felt like they were actually like giving a lot, but then fifth game it was just, it was just like on who has the most uh, comfort champions, mm -hmm. and I mean we are just our our perfect comp, so I guess it was free. A hashtag. Hashtag Team Niski, of course. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> of course, Team Niski has won that matchup finally uh, against Team Hans, even though on Twitter you usually lose those. But uh, I would say Hans is a bit more popular in that regard. But it's it's it kind of like, you know, when, when there's a fanatic MVP vote yeah. and Reckless is on it, it's just, it's, yeah. you can't do anything. <laughs>
<laughs> right. Thank you very much, Niski. Uh, best of luck tomorrow against G2. Very excited for that series. Uh, if you want to see more Splice content, G2 interviews, Misfits interviews, EU LCS interviews, NA LCS interviews, we got you covered. And we're, of course, going to be maybe at World Season. Hint, hint. Thank you very much for watching. This was Niski and Darius from the Shot Club. Hope you had a good day. See you guys then. Bye bye. This is Darius from the Shot Girl, and I hope you just enjoyed that video. This is a generic end card, of course, so make sure to click here for a different interview, or here for a different interview, or about here to subscribe to the Shot Caller. We very much appreciate your support, and see you guys next time. Bye bye.